Hey everyone, I'm Big John and I'm here with another Q&A video. So once again, my friend Brandon asked me, Big John, what is your favorite? What is your perfect day in the parks? Well, it depends on what park you're in. Now, I'm going to break it down for you. Now, in the Magic Kingdom, I, I have a day in the Magic Kingdom. I go down Main Street. We go straight for Fantasyland, the back at Storybook Circus for Dumbo and the Barnstormer. Then we make our way over to do to Tomorrowland to do the Speedway. Fantasyland, do the teacups, then in Tomorrowland, the Speedway. People Mover, obviously. Uh, and sometimes Space Mountain and Carousel Progress and the Astro Orbiter, depending on the lines. And it's because early day, Fast Pass, as early day AQs are simple. Late, later in the afternoon, though, good idea to get a Fast Pass then. Go back to Fantasyland, ride, you know, the teacups. Mine, Seven Doors Mine Train, Winnie the Pooh, Peter Pan's Flight, It's a Small World. And then we, somehow we go over to Liberty Square, ride the Haunted Mansion. And go over to Frontierland, ride Splash and Big Thunder, probably have lunch in Frontierland. As we, as you've seen, some, for, or those of you who've seen my uh, restaurant tip vids of quick service at the Magic Kingdom, you know that Pecos Bill's Tall Tale Inn Cafe is a great place where to have lunch with a little chicken nugget stand across the way. And over to Adventureland, of course, you gotta ride the Jungle Cruise. And then just go from there. Just read out. Now for Epcot, we go we start off with test track because when when you make fast passes, well, you're not gonna make there aren't gonna be fast passes for a while. Well, with this new reservation system that's starting on Monday. Got we go straight for test track, ride that. Then we we go oh to the other side of Future World, ride the seas with Nemo and friends, Soarin. Then we go to the we decide to go in the Imagination Pavilion to the uh, special lounge for DVC members like myself. Then we go over to the World Showcase. Ace, of course, you gotta ride the three caballeros ride in the Mexico Showcase. You can't beat it. And some and it depends on where our our lunch is gonna be. Sometimes we eat in the UK. Sometimes we eat in Italy. Sometimes we eat in Japan. Some and we're hoping to try Regal Eagle next month. And no, yeah, actually in a couple months. Now for Hollywood Studios, my perfect day. Three words. Citizens of Hollywood. We all. I always work my. I day around seeing the citizen and I always do two days of Hollywood Studios when I'm down in Florida because uh, for those of you I am the number one fan of the citizens of Hollywood they make great memories for you you're gonna find out what memories in a, another upcoming video and but in between citizen times we like to go ride some of the rides we go to Toy Story Land ride Slinky Dog Alien Swirling Saucers, Toy Story Mania, then go over the Galaxy's Edge, ride the Falcon. Hopefully, do if we have a boarding group, do Rise of the Resistance. Then, see, sometime midday, ride Star Tours. App, you have to do Muppet Vision 3D. It, it is one of Disney's best attractions at Hollywood Studios. I hope they do not get rid of it in the foreseeable future because it is a classic. And sometimes I do Tower of Terror. And for those of you who are hoping when I'm going to say Rock and Roller Coaster, I have a little thing about loops. So, eh, anyway, yeah, always work on my way around the citizens. Now, for Animal Kingdom, we, we usually do a short day at Animal Kingdom. We, we don't, there's not a lot at Animal Kingdom. Well, there is a little bit more than there used to be with Avatar now, but we... We start out, uh, we go to Dino Land, ride Primeval World if it's open, uh, do a couple rides on Expedition Everest, me and my dad, while my mom sits on a rock. Then we uh, go ride the Safari. Then sometime around then we have uh, lunch at Pizza Safari. Go, go to Pandora, ride Flight of Passage if the line isn't long, and then ride Navi River Journey, which is beautiful. Yeah, we don't do a lot of Animal Kingdom, but those are my perfect days at the park. Thank you, Brandon, once again for that great question.
question. And if you have any other questions about how to do Disney for people with special needs or anything you want to recommend, if there are any tips you want to know, let me know in the comments and it'll be in a future video. Also, if you want to know any more, catch more Disney content, check out my good friends Beth at Beth's Disney Adventures and CJ at Disney Planning Guide. And for the latest attraction news, make sure you check out our good friends over at Attractions Magazine. And we will see you next time.